Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new campaign of Hearts of Iron 4 Ragnarok in Man the Guns. Oof, just have the shirt right there, so gotta do it. So, a lot of requests have been coming in the last couple of, well, actually weeks, but I couldn't do it from the last couple of days. Of Man the Guns Ragnarok mod. It has been one of the recent most popular mods I have been playing. Let's do it. So, uh, let's see. We don't have any other mods on. Well, we have play controlled peace conferences, but that shouldn't matter right here since it's me against everyone in the entire world. Difficult chosen, only effective amount of equipment received at the start of the game. Oh, okay. Uh, difficult. Uh, this was. This is definitely new. I have not played this war. I just saw that this mod was updated right now, so I was like, yes, I can do a mod right now because you've been craving for it. And yeah, let's see. Um. Hmm, substantial building materials, that I don't want to mess with, let's try no forts as well, let's do this, we're gonna do it the proper way, we're gonna limit all abuses, we're gonna do it just with pure German fighting power, no weird ass abuses, and cut up, come on here, stop messing around, no weird abuses, we're gonna do it just legit, no f space marine divisions, nothing like that, we're gonna do it properly. And we are going to play it on, I think, Brutal Difficulty. That feels like the only way you're supposed to play Ragnarok. Brutality. And let's see, important information. Any war that Germany gets involved will start a worldwide conflict early. Alright, good to know. Uh, starting first Vienna Award or this, I, I kind of remember from being somewhere, like, last time I played this mod, okay. Playing with historical AI focus turned on, I hope I did, but um, I guess we'll see. Uh, toppling Hitler and forming Imperial Germany is not advised, it's untested, okay. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Uh, to make war more enjoyable for both sides, the combat we have available during battles has been dramatically increased, nearly tripled. Alright, um... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's new, and that's gonna... Oh my god, it's gonna completely screw me. D I said normal, right? <laughs> um, forts can be built. I, and I said I could build forts, right? <laughs> uh, I'm really happy I read this information. I was just gonna press difficulty, brutal, and begin. Uh, only puppets of Germany will stay loyal once the conflict begins. So that also screws me over. I was like, at least I can release. No, uh, okay, brutal. And uh, we get a bunch of um, well, focus completed. We get some doctrines and some support equipment. That's actually very nice. Uh, I feel like I very much will need it. What? No, no logistics. Aww, I was kind of hoping that. Uh, all right, and uh, 150 power right there. That sounds lovely. We're gonna get the second one right there. 100 percent. Oh. Well, that could maybe create some civil wars in Hungary and Romania, but for now, we just need a ton more stuff right there. Um, before we do anything, let's see. What kind of army do I need right now? First of all, we need to guard every single front line we have. Combat width is tripled, so anything we need to produce, we need a shit ton of. I think we're gonna get like a billion cavalry divisions. Maybe. Let's see, how long is the training time difference between you guys? We have we have 45 experience points. Okay, so we can make some slight modifications. Uh, training time 120, 120. Then we'll make cavalry divisions because we need just fill our entire front line with enough units so we can defend against every kind of early game unit. Even if they have air force, we need to defend against and cavalry divisions are 2.4 kilometers faster than infantry units. So that's what we're going to do. Are we gonna give you support artillery? I don't think so. Well, you're not gonna recon either. I just need a pile of these four <laughs> units. Let's see, I remove you, I remove you. That's 20 of my experience points. Points. Maybe, maybe I should have made some trial runs before <laughs> jumping straight into the recording episode. 88 defense, will that be enough? I don't think so. Adding two more artillery cavalry units right there, that's 132. That's a bit better, but we almost wasting our entire XP stockpile. I think it still will be worth it. Let's just press save right there. Let's press save and we'll see what happens. So, um, all of these spare factories. Well, guess what? I'm gonna put 
you can actually stay, you can stay. No more light tanks, one on motorized, remove light, uh, well, remove fighters, remove close air support, remove tackle bombers, because the area is going to be superiorly, like, they're going to be insanely much more overpowered than me in Air Force. No matter what kind of focus I do on the Air Force right now in the beginning, it's just going to be, no. It's just going to be a pure no. Uh, a super important thing is that we have to take down Denmark ASAP, so we can blockade all of these naval invasions from, like, actually, that won't matter at all since, well, everyone will be at war against me in the same faction, which means they can just walk into, yeah, okay, never mind, that won't matter, but I still, I'm still gonna bring down Denmark, come on, it's Denmark. Uh, <laughs> let's see, okay, uh, let's just add every single factory we have right here, let's just finish all the boats we possibly m already have, because I think every single one of them is gonna be super crucial for my eventual, well, gang up against probably Soviet Union, I think I'm gonna have to naval invade them in the north, but I, I we'll see, we'll see, we'll see if I freaking survive the beginning. God damn it, Daniel! Don't start speaking way out of time. And I think I'm gonna bump this one down to one. Making all these changes right now, beginning, lay boot out, I'm pausing. Make sure you keep all the ex efficiency and actually gain efficiency, like you've always had the factories right there. So that's super important. We have five research slots. We have five research slots. That would give me six. I, okay. Yeah, I'm fine with six. Um, okay. <laughs> let's see. We are gonna do. Let's see. Hello, lovely weapon right there. Uh, hello, artillery unit. Um, let's see. Hello, you. Hello, you. And let's see. What else? What else? What else? Hello, you. And uh, then I see a slight issue. We don't have doctrines going on right now. Doctrines gonna be more important for me right now since we well basically we need all the <laughs> we need all the static. No, we need all general bonuses, like general bonus we can possibly get because yeah we just need it. Artillery later. Okay, uh, let's see. We always have you, that's awesome. War economy, uh, wow, that's actually a penalty. Wow, you begin with less war economy than usual. I might want to go up right here, but w we'll see, we'll see. Uh, one thing I probably should get is, yeah, yeah you, but uh, where's my silent war courses? Right there. Boreman, thank you. Uh, so that's just to improve the future. And let's, yeah, we're, we're, you can probably guess it, but we're only going to build military industry from freaking day one. Uh, do we have MIFO builds? Yes, we do. That's awesome. We're going to continue with those as well. Uh, anything else? Um, we suddenly got 10 more military factories. Okay, I don't know. Let's just um, gracefully accept that and let's continue. Uh, maybe maybe they've added more more military factories for Germany and I just didn't notice until now. Luckily, we still got the efficiency boost right there. So yeah, that's nice. Uh, and we need about... Oh god, we can only produce 34 at a time. Yeah, that's, that's kind of terrible. Um, let's see, my entire air force... You are only going to be used in the most critical of times. Uh, we're going to abandon this area because that's your suicide. We have 30 divisions. Okay, I'm just going to tell everyone to just go to Berlin for now and we'll see. Um, okay. Do we have everything else set up right now? I think we do. You guys are going to produce everything. Deploy everything right there. Lovely. Uh, decision is available. Is there anything <coughs> I've been missing or something I could do? No, I can't. Okay. Okay, that's really bad. That means we can't go either war economy or anything else. Wait. This said doing the first Vienna award or first award right here will trigger the war. But they never said anything about Rhineland or Anschluss. 
doing both of them would be pretty goddamn awesome. And by doing this one single focus, I might have completely screwed up. It, it feels weird. Okay, uh, um, maybe I shouldn't have done this then at all. Maybe we already have to restart. I'm gonna make a save right now. Uh, that just loses us eight days, nine days actually. But um, because we can cancel and just do the other one. But, but I guess we'll see. And getting those Zulian factories right now isn't too bad. It's just I would have liked something else. Uh, let's see, you're gonna be put up at the... Let's begin with 50 factories before we get any more right here. And that's gonna be the beginning. And we're also gonna need a ton of anti-air guns. And let's even put it off the right here. That's gonna be the second most important thing. Just so we can start, well, kicking the crap out of their air force. Slowly but steadily. <sighs> Alright, so units, units, units. Well, it would be nice. I'm gonna keep these four guys in a separate pile. And you're basically gonna be the ones invading Denmark right there. And then we have a ton of areas we need to blockade right here. Hmm. This is going to be a pretty good just adding of manpower. Uh, let's see, should we start throwing them out ASAP? No, it's not necessary for that right now. We're going to start throwing them out ASAP as soon as we can do the Anschluss. Yeah. As for now, just keep training, keep getting more stuff. Just stay there for now. Uh, these four are going to go up right there, definitely. Uh, then we need 24 divisions, all of, all of you. Alright, oh, maybe I should even make all of you to end. No, you're well trained, you're well trained. So what's my most difficult front gonna be? I actually think it's gonna be Poland because they will have the backing of Soviet Union very easily. So you, all of you guys get up right there. And then we have two extra divisions right here. Um, I might just assign them to Switzerland because why the hell not? Um, we have one mountaineer, that's something at least. Uh, you guys are gonna get my best freaking commander, I think. Uh, actually, not best, but at least most well defended. Uh, let's see, and need to be infantry expert. Well, I guess that everyone is the best one then. Uh, then of you guys, you are gonna get the mineshine because you have the river bonus. Go right there. Then these two guys, well, just a random infantry commander. And we're gonna have a lot of those random guys. And they're gonna be deployed over the entirety of Europe. And of course, you guys shall have the lovely, lovely Walter right here. God, very nice to have you. Uh, aggressive Assaulter would be nice, but I'd rather have the unyielding defensive guy right there. And recovery rate, that's gonna be very, very important. And did the game crash? No, that's your Spanish Civil War. That's fine. Just fight it out right there. We could probably send some stuff to get more experience, but uh, I'm gonna be fine right now, I think. We don't have very much more I need to modify. We just need more troops. And, well, more right there. Uh, let's see, how quickly? Okay, good, and wow, 10%? Isn't this just usually five? Well, maybe it is 10. Uh, we're definitely gonna go disperse because we can have bombings over me constantly. And how long was this, 240? Yeah, that I don't like. Doing the Rhineland, okay, we're gonna make a save right now before that as well, just in case that triggers the World War and I just, I don't know, read badly or something. Which is a very, very big possibility as well. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, save, save, save. Did I miss the button? Yes, I did. <laughs> Rhineland, let's do that one. Uh, let's see, we're 120 right here. Uh, we're gonna need all possible guys. Division training. Oh, we already begin with that one as well. Wow, this mod seems to be cheating. Uh, Alright, uh, infantry expert, uh, clear choice. Arm logistics, clear choice. And armor regrouping, yeah, sure. And you should probably be switched to offense organization. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Uh, this one is gonna do yeah, well, Rhineland. I'm gonna do Anschluss right there. We're gonna demand the Sudetenland. If we can, that is, um, we should be, because if we manage to do the Rhineland, then I probably read it correctly, and we will be able to do, well, that focus. Uh, so, you might be wondering why am I picking radio right here, since the combat will increase by that amount over three times, like I said, then, uh, well, having units go from reinforced status to actually active in the combat is going to be much much more important so that's why we picked that guy uh, should we pick anything before maybe we should war industrialist i need every single factory i can possibly get my hands on uh, let's see 80 80 let's do both right there and we're gonna do 90 there 80 there and let's see rhineland you should be there 
And yeah, it might be worth it to build a couple of civilian factories, but I'm hoping putting that extra effort in right here will actually give me, well, possibilities to take some land first and grab their civilian factories. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And these guys are very soon trained. It might be a mistake waiting, but I'm thinking wait for the first round and then just instant deploy as many as possible after this. That's the first stack coming out. 11 more units. And well, we can just start filling everywhere, honestly. It doesn't really matter where we begin because we're gonna need at least 24 stacks against every single nation right there. That's what I'm hoping on at least. Uh, let's see, we need a good stockpile right there. Yeah, we don't have a good, good stockpile right there. That's really, really bad. We need more factories right there. So I guess we're just gonna go up to 70. Um, more and more factories, that's all we need. Eight fa units, four right there, done and ready. And you are almost four and done. Uh, you didn't really have, oh my god, that's that's so bad. Uh, but yeah, you guys are done and ready. Uh, you can actually be split into something else because you are gonna have your own stuff right there because you're gonna be unique. You're gonna be on the rune stat because, well, some attacking power right there. Otherwise, every single field marshal I have shall be focused on defense. Uh, those two units, well, you can begin the next. And shouldn't we have a cavalry commander, really? Oh, right, by the way, why am I assigning infantry commanders to, well, as many as possible of these? Is because I'm gonna, well, once I can, switch every single one of these to infantry units rather than cavalry. So, that's why. Uh, let's see, they don't have any other stat differences, right? If I had this and you switched out all of these now, and I became a bit uncertain, so I just want to double check this. Uh, you have barely more defense, barely more breakthrough, slightly, le well, actually quite a bit less supply use. Uh, some more organization, but otherwise it's not super important. Yeah, I think the speed is going to make more of a difference. Because speed is going to be super crucial if I have to reinforce somewhere, if I've changed position. Just, we need it right now. Uh, okay, what? how's this going? We have currently 444,000 men in the field. Yeah, we need to deploy more units faster. So I'm gonna cancel a couple of these because, well, from now on we're only gonna, well, deploy them as soon as they're ready. Just get them out now, please. That's 17 more divisions. Uh, it might be a mistake. We might have enough time to wait, but I'm not gonna, well, I'm not gonna, sh well, Sean's that I'm not gonna like risk it like see uh, we need a couple of more divisions like two more divisions is that 550 yes it is then we're gonna do the unstretch right there very good we are gonna set up another line right there god it's I'm starting to get a bit tense because it's already May yeah that's really really bad that's really bad and uh, let's see Bulgaria right there you guys get up right there God, we are really gonna have to build up more stuff now. We don't have time for this bullshit. Uh, maintenance companies, super important. We are gonna need some capture equipment like hell. Uh, 70, maybe that was too much. I'm gonna go 60. That, maybe that's too much as well. Uh, God, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. 46 pin port sport, lovely. That means we are gonna go in right here. We're gonna pick... Um, uh, right there, get some more war support, which means we can go down right here, get the German war economy over there, getting six uh, six factories, and we're getting war economy law. Sudetenland is, well, let's see, how much how many folks can do? Seven, uh, you can do seven, well, seven, 14, 21, 35, you can do four focuses, we have done three of them. One, two, three. So either we pick the Sudetenland, get that one, uh, that's how well important, how important you have a lot of forts right here you have actually done those forts so it could be very nice if we try to strike it down asap then we get the forts or i think it might be better we do demand sudetenland and then we do this one as our first focus well during the war that is uh that might be more important yeah because they will well this will never work once we actually are at war and getting all of those lovely forts right here will be very very nice uh let's see we are gonna have to guard against oh uh, we are gonna have to guard against um italy of course but it it's italy so i think we should be all right uh deploy all these 21 divisions you have been training for way too long get there come on up and ready up and ready go 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 uh, God, my, mine is 14k equipment right now. That's really bad. Um, I might have to split up these armies a bit at least. I was really hoping we were be able to. We should we should have been able to do this. But um, uh, let's begin with separate commanders of 12 units each to begin with. 
uh, no, you're not good enough. These guys are good enough. You're pretty good. And uh, actually, we're getting ten divisions from there. So let's let's accept that for the begin with. Uh, let's see, walk all right there. I'm gonna s not split you. I'm gonna split you though, and you're gonna be part of the second group. I, ugh, we're gonna have to use all of this field marshal. Let's not pretend like we have any extra strategy right here. Um, we're gonna have to have these twelve twelve divisions right there. Uh, what else we have here? Split them into. Assign right there. Let's get a command up and rolling. Yeah, you're pretty good. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's begin. Luxembourg doesn't need 12 divisions. You are going to be guarded together with both of these front lines. Okay. So now it's time. Well, we don't actually have access to areas right now. But yeah, we're going to guard against all three of these nations. Just getting. Or. Or. Or we ignore. Austria's land. Oh, actually, I want these factories. I definitely want those all of those factories. So, no, mind. We're not gonna ignore anything. We are gonna try to defend it. Well, to the last man standing, really. Uh, let's delete a couple of these lines. So, we actually have fewer to build in parallel. Uh, 12. That looks a lot better. Let's see if we can fix that properly. Uh, let's... W we could actually go to war economy just like this. That might be worth it. Faster building speed. Faster... Or we pick one of these guys right now. We don't actually... Oh, let's pick that guy. Thank you. Get that extra defense. Get that extra defense right now. Uh, this is fixing it a bit more. Let's continue with builds as long as we possibly can. Every every second will count for gold. <laughs> uh, let's see. 12 more divisions. Come on. Shop, shop. There we go. Thank you. Uh, D12. You're going to be separated up. Get a commander. And most of these lines will merge into one as soon as it, as soon as we basically begin the war. I'm fine with that. Just I, I need to I need to set everything up myself first. Uh, basically, we're gonna let all the lines merge in, and then we're gonna make the large proper field marshal orders that is around around my entire nation. I think we'll see about that. Okay. Anyway, sex sixteen divisions. Well, good. Well, we're not going to grab those 16 divisions. Oh, shit, I must have stolen some from... No, no, okay, you were your 16 divisions. Okay, nice. Then we're going to take four divisions from you. You're going to guard up to the next and final field marshal, I think. Oh, my God, we have this guy. Yes, 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 you are going to be the one defending right here. That's awesome. So I'm just going to steal these 12 divisions, and I'm also going to steal, I think, these 12 divisions. You are going to guard this mountainous area and Czechoslovakia. Bloody hell. That's awesome. That's really, really nice. And these guys get up right there. Okay, so what we're going to do with this, I think it is Sudetenland. And 7, 14, 21, 28. No, we can do five focuses for the love of God. So we can do both of them. Uh, which means this one is slightly less important right away. The other one is important to get right now. Cancel that one. Get the war economy up and rolling. Mm, there we go. Put the squeeze in then, doesn't really matter because it's not going to make any difference. Oh, math. Never do math on stream. Never do math. That's 20. Damn it, damn it. Well, I'm actually kind of happy right now. That's buying us quite a bit more time. Uh, let's do the next research right there. We are still doing right there. Upgrade, no, no. Uh, we maintenance. I want logistic company up and rolling as well, please. Actually, double check, double check, double check. Uh, give me that one ASAP. Um... Anything I'm missing? Anything I'm missing? I don't think so. I think we're generally now fine. Uh, we have a size. Well, we have a slight stockpile after that 12 quick deployment. We're getting 345 equipment every single day. I like. I don't even know if this is the right way. This might just be a complete failure. Uh, by the way, you guys jump over right here. Thank you. And you're definitely gonna need more men. You have a huge front line, and you don't have properly lines set up right now. Uh, come on, guys. No, you're not supposed to be assigned right there. Who the hell is this order? Oh, you guys. Oh, you are just part of something random. Okay. Uh, anyway, do we have frontline against everything right now? Yes, we do. So, these four tanks right there. I'm going to add, let's, a couple of uh, a couple of cavalry divisions right there. You are just going to start reinforcing everything then. So, I'm going to mark you as, well, you're going to be the reinforcement stack for now. Uh, let's see. That also means I will be able to start training my units. Uh, everyone except you, yeah, I think so. And there we go. Those, uh, all of these guys, shall you start training? Because now, when we have 
every single front line filled, I think it might be good to just, well, at least get them slightly trained. Uh, we'll see how much equipment that actually costs me, and I might change my mind after that. Um, but for now, everyone, you guys right there, get all of these guys, deploy right there, please. And you're just instantly gonna jump into that pile while I take all of you, since you're the reinforcement, and I'm just gonna assign you on different places right now. That's 21 divisions, let's get you to 24. Then we have seven more divisions, I need more division against France, and I'm gonna grab two more and assign against Poland. Oh wait, you're already at 24, good. Uh, let's assign some more divisions right there in the north. And I always keep one division right there, just so I can keep doing this, because it's easy. Uh, let's see, four divisions right there, more against Hungary. Oh my god, yes, more, tons more against Hungary. Kurt, I love you, let's put you right there. Uh, let's see, anything else? Disperse Entry Level 2, let's get that one as well. Uh, research uh, Logistics right there. Let's see, how much are we losing right now from just attrition? Barely anything, we're good, we're good. Oh well, that's two days. Is it even two days? Yeah, it's slightly less than two days. And now we start to reinforce the rest, that's good. So 60 factories, that is what we keep on infantry right now. And now we can begin with the rest. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, anything else I can do right now that's critical? Uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we can hold this. I think we can at least temporarily hold them. Uh, it might not be the winning strategy, but we're gonna begin with trying out this. Let's see, Is how is the training speed of everyone going? Yeah, it's going quite quickly to get them into train. That's really all I want. Uh, experience would be nice, but I'd rather have more more units. Uh, let's see, you're good, so stop training. And then we'll have you guys just stop training, and I'll double check everyone right here. And yeah, well, you're not, so well, you can actually keep training forever, I think. Because I'm still just gonna. No, wait, am I? Yeah, I think so. Just get them out right here, and then we'll train them right there. Sure, it costs me equipment, but I'm sure how many divisions I actually have. Uh, let's see, what else? Get more right here against Hungary. Is everyone democratic or something? No, it's still very, very normal right here. Yes, that everyone's declaring war against me in like a few freaking days. <sighs> it might have been better to just switch war on me straight away. But this way I save the power and I get more commanders, but I get a less, a lot less time with 5% more consuming goods. So I don't know. So little land, let's do this one. Uh, I hope we still have time. October, November, this uh, should be time enough for, to do it, yes. Uh, anything we're missing, anything we're not doing. Uh, all of you are basically not getting built right now because you want chromium, so I'm just gonna change the place of a couple of these, please. And do one, one, and then you can continue like that. And you're gonna be, well, deployed one by one, cool. Uh, anything we're missing right now. I think we're generally pretty good. I think we can do this, maybe. Uh, one right there, one right there, more stuff right there please. And actually this should be top of the line. Uh, the same with you and you, ahead of everything else. Actually you are pretty much finished, so that will go faster. Uh, but I'm gonna bump you both down to one each. Uh, and you are already one, so yeah that's gonna be more beneficial. Uh, let's see, anything else, anything else, anything else. Sorry for all the thinking and non-playing. So, um, get the next construction right there. Yes. And we'll see what happens. Um, everyone is up and rolling. We have two guys training. Oh my god, you did not stop training. Uh, you need to stop training right there. German, Italian. Uh, they get mountaineers and naval technology. Sure, I will accept that, that's fine. Or it's me getting at and they actually got tank stuff. I think that might actually be it. Oh damn it! We might have to go in and try to kill them quickly, but we'll see. We will freaking see. Uh, hopefully, we're the ones getting attacked, because that will give us some war support and stability bonuses. I think my very very necessary. Uh, we are also gonna hopefully build up this army a bit more. Let's see. Your 24 divisions. I want all of these guys now. Hopefully, all of you assigned right there. Uh, let's see, you are now this army. Uh, oh, only two divisions right there. Yeah, you are right there and right there, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, you are the one, you're the one that's supposed to be assigned right there. 
So I guess you are the lone one with only tanks and, well, aggressive units, really. But you're hopefully going to go in, grab Denmark, and maybe, maybe even grab Sweden and Norway. But for that, you're going to need reinforcements. But you're going to begin with Denmark, push up to Sweden to about here, and then we'll see if I can spare some reinforcements to you. Uh, November, God, it's getting very, very close right now. Uh, how much equipment have we now lost from your training? 2k, that's nothing, that's fine, that's all good. Maybe we should have trained everyone else even further, but now it's pretty much too late. Ugh. The more you know, the more you know. Uh, we could switch your armor logistics, could change your offensive actions. Regrouping, ugh, I don't know. It's uh, Offense is not going to give me very much right now, so let's pick the regrouping. And now all the points we're getting are going to be put at, well, getting extensive conscription and continue forward with that. We have one spare factory right now, and I think I'm just going to get the art artillery up and rolling now. Uh, we are, tr are we trading with Sweden? Yes, we are. Damn it. <laughs> I guess I'm not gonna put it uh, right here. I'm actually gonna start beginning with support equipment Because one thing that would be very very nice and kind of Awesome is if we got engineer company on every single one of my division or of course the lovely maintenance company So begin with 15 fa 15 factories right there and the rest are just gonna go to support equipment for a while and the anti air guns well, they're not gonna matter that much in the beginning sure they're gonna matter Okay, they're gonna matter a shit ton, it's just I can't focus on everything at the same time. I need a ridiculous stockpile of infant inf infantry equipment, and I think I might have too little right now. Uh, deploy these 12 divisions. You are signed right here, I'm gonna grab the next 12 divisions that are right here. Let's see, where can I assign you that are necess that is necessary? Uh, you're probably gonna need it, so let's deploy some more units right there. Uh, do you have any more units that necessary? Well, it's 8th of December, so I don't care anymore. Everyone is going to be assigned, well, everywhere, really. And I don't care if you're trained or not. I'm just going to leave one single division. Let's see, that's 22 divisions. Uh, get a couple more. Damn it, I became overconfident in two seconds. And we have way too few units in many of these places. Uh, let's see, Belgium. Okay, now, just go in right here. You have an order. You have an order, temporarily, uh, your 12 divisions, yeah, that should be good enough. Get the units up right there, you are gonna get units right there. Let's see, you have orders right there, god, we're only 16 divisions right there, yeah, we're gonna have to fix that with the next wave, I think. You, 22 divisions, get in right there. Well, we're probably going to redo everything, it's just, just in case we can do some very quick early pushing, then this is how we're going to have to do it. And yeah, you have too many divisions. I am going to assign more units right there, that's at least 20 now against France. And let's see, more units, yeah, I'm going to steal even more units. I'm going to grab three more units to Hungary, so you have at least 10 units right there. Switzerland is freaking more than you. Uh, God, and I'm missing one front line right there. Now I'm going to grab, yeah, those four divisions signed right there. Damn it, missed that. Or? Was it just this? Oh, wait, it was when we annexed Austria. Right, 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 right. Uh, so, you guys, right there. Everyone assigned right there. Come on, fix that. That's very, very bad. That's very bad. Missed that. I'm not allowed to do stuff like that. Then that means instant doom in this mod. Uh, okay, everything is fine. Yeah, 8% right there, 8% right there. Uh, anything else? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Historic day. Very good. We actually got to Sudetenland just in time So he's gonna unite right there get their forts right there. Awesome. We might be able to go in and just grab them extremely quickly after that Let's see Extra resource slot that might be necessary and I don't think we can do Generally anything else that would really benefit us. So we're gonna get the extra resource slot right there uh, we just have a couple more days before the war begins, and I've only already gone over time right now. Uh, I uh, guess I'm gonna have a slightly longer episode and be slightly late with this episode. Uh, we are, of course, I think, gonna go down right here and not get any tanks. That's not gonna be for a very long time. So just focus on the west, pa west path, the left path right there. Uh, might even been better if we went to somewhere else and picked another line entirely, but like if we would have gone down and actually picked the Soviet path right here. Soviet path right here, just jumped over, it might have been better, but, um, well, first attempt, first attempt um, of the new Ragnarok mod, let's see, so where do we drastically more need more divisions, I think here, I would really like full stock of divisions against France, thank you, so where else do we need more divisions, um, 
this is looking weak this is looking slightly weak as well against Hungary and Yugoslavia yeah I don't like that so I guess the five well the ten or eight divisions that are left are gonna be deployed here five each or four each like that god this is gonna be scary oh shit we have three more divisions right there that's awesome uh I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. God, it might need more against Poland. God, did I severely underestimate them? I think I did. Holy shit, that's actually really, really bad. We might just lose because we ignored Poland. We don't have this super strong German army right now. Come on. And let's save right now before the New Year's fiasco. Thank you. And everyone get deployed right there. Actually, screw it. I'm just going to get do like this. No more green divisions. Everyone get over right there. Guard against... Well, guard against him right there. We are, are going to try to delay this as long as we possibly can. I shouldn't have pressed away the first decision that quickly. God damn it. We are need to buy every single day we can possibly get. I think we might be able to get one more wave of infantry units. Maybe. And Nationalists just won that. And we will be... Technically, we could invite someone to a faction right now. But I feel that's just way too much cheating. And it will probably just span it anyway. So, let's ignore that for now. First Vienna Award, yeah, whatever. And war, okay, they just declare war anyway. It doesn't matter that we dissed that event. <sighs> Holy shit, <Nigel. laughs> Damn it. So, there we go. The lag has come. Oh, really? That was it? Oh, right, right. So they are splitting up all the declarations of war in several, well, several events to make it less CPU heavy. All right, so these guys, well, they're going to be the one or very few I just tell go for it. Uh, let's see. I would really like to reduce this in size. Just cut it down right there. So all of you divisions are going to charge in as much as you possibly can before anything happens. Uh, we're just going to take down Luxembourg like there's nothing there. Uh, here would be nice if we could take down um, Czechoslovakia. At least reduce this front line by a lot. So we're going to try to do that. Otherwise, I think we're just going to try to hold the rest of the front lines. Uh, yeah. yeah, we should actually make a save right now before, well, the rest happens, before the war begins, before the empire. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh shit, what the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Luxembourg capitulated. Oh yeah, good. You're actually doing what you should be doing. Uh, you need to rush in right here. No delaying, no waiting. You need to break this ASAP. You guys are pushing forward with everything you have right there. Well, I would like to take a couple divisions and just send them straight as well, please. And um, by the way, combat with increase. Oh my god, it's so ridiculously increased. It, I can't believe it. That's just cra crazy. Uh, question of power. Air support mission efficiency plus 20%. Wow, that feels like cheating. That feels so much like cheating. Uh, so I'm definitely not going to do that. Um, so yeah, we're not going to do anything like there. Thank you. Uh, push down right there. Let's see if we can get this one up and rolling. Good, a nice round right there. Get in right here and finish off Netherlands ASAP. Please. Uh, you're guarding here every single place. Very nice. Uh, please get in right here and actually try to break through right there. It's not looking good otherwise on our other fronts right here in the south. So please stop pushing right there. Please stop pushing right there. Let's split up right there. You're doing bad things. You are doing better. You are doing better. Okay, let's see. Let's go down slightly in speed, please. So I actually can micro a bit of this. Uh, try to push in right there. Okay, you are not going to succeed with that, but you will be able to delay them for long enough for me to maybe do something fun right here. Uh, let's do like this. We can actually surround a couple of areas more, except East Prussia. East Prussia doesn't count. What? <laughs> Total war. Uh, 
Oh right, we get a pretty nice one right there, except the enemies are gonna get something ridiculously more powerful, like to get it with the US or something, United in War, yeah, here, supply consumption, reinforce, yeah, that's just completely ridiculous, that should be sh just plain out cheating, even in this mod. Uh, no, you're gonna kill off these divisions, I'm not gonna allow anything else, otherwise just take down Amsterdam for the love of God, come on, come on, we need to bring down them. We need to take them down. And here, really? Really? Denmark holding your ground? Oh my god. Well, um, everything is not going as well I, as well as I hoped. Uh, maybe we can actually get down right there. Please take that fort as well. Uh, right, now we have to fix all the front lines that we have. Well, I'm gonna leave that to next episodes, Daniel. War has begun. It's looking relatively well. We'll see how everything goes, but yeah, basically build up stays right here and next episode we're gonna begin war, war, war and even more war because I have to eat dinner. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this and will enjoy this mod and this try. We'll see how everything goes, but yeah, hope you guys like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And bye.